Edge functions and Lambda functions. They serve a similar purpose, yet why are hosting companies rushing to release new products in this space? Stay tuned to find out how to get started with Vercel, Dino, and Netlify Edge functions. Edge functions promise to solve many problems of Lambda functions. One of those problems is cold start. It can sometimes take upwards of 2 seconds for a Lambda function to respond. This is mostly due to function going to sleep when it is not called frequently, a bit like how an app is suspended on your iPhone. Edge functions, on the other hand, are always up and ready to go. This is because they do not carry the full Node.js runtime like Lambda functions do. The downside of this is that you cannot use NPM packages that depend on Node.js APIs. Even with these limitations, there are great use cases for edge functions. The best I can think of are things like building simple API routes, delivering personalized content based on cookies, or rendering pages close to your users. All great things that are sure to boost the performance of your website. Without further delay, let's see how we can use edge functions on Vercel, Netlify, and Dino. In the case of Vercel, the easiest way is by using the Next.js framework and exporting a configuration object in any API route. First, create a Next.js application. Then, from any route located under the pages slash API folder, you can simply export a configuration object that will tell Vercel to deploy these routes on their edge network. You will need to stick to standard web APIs like response, request, and fetch. You can also use edge functions to render React pages using get server side props. Just export the same config object from any React page under the Pages folder. It will be interesting to see how this plays out with the upcoming release of the Layouts, RFC and Server components. If you prefer using Netlify, then you are in luck, because it is almost as easy to get started. In any existing Netlify project, simply add a new section to your TOML configuration file to specify the path of your Edge function and the location of the code for the function. You now just have to create a hello.js file at the root of the project and Netlify will send any request to this function when somebody tries to reach the hello world path. If you're feeling a bit more hipster, feel free to use Dino which has an awesome offering. They also power other services like Supabase Edge functions. You will need to sign up for their Dino Deploy product and install the companion command line tool. In any file, simply create an HTTP server to serve the request. And then, Use the deploy command to deploy your edge function to any project created in the Dino dashboard. Whichever of these three providers you use, you can now execute code right next to where your users live and feel good about speeding up your web applications. Out of the three, the one I would use is Vercel simply because it integrates really well with my existing toolset and is breeze to use with Next.js. Dino is also really fun as the ecosystem is growing rapidly and they recently launched their own framework called Fresh capable of running on edge functions. Thank you for tuning in to Frontend DevOps. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more of these videos explaining the latest tools for frontend development.